I will tell you, uh, Metro uh, leaders with the, the trash collection department, they've done an outstanding job of cleaning this up. Uh, but what remains is the, the littered graffiti on buildings and uh, pepper spray bullets on, on the ground before me. And just over my shoulder, photojournalist Dave Mills will show you King Louie, one of the most prominent statues here in Louisville and what the, who the city is named after. He's missing a right hand. This all happened after protesters erupted just hours after Mayor Greg Fisher held a virtual town hall to try to engage the community about strengthening police relations given the Breonna Taylor case. And as you will see, protesters were angry, frustrated, and fed up. Demonstrators were calling for the arrest of the three officers involved after Brianna Taylor was shot to death inside her apartment during a raid by LMPD back in March. Her boyfriend, Kenneth Taylor, was initially arrested for attempted murder of a police officer. Walker, who believed the officers were intruders, claims he fired his gun in self-defense. Now, officers did fire back, killing Taylor. One of those officers was shot in the leg. Last week, Walker was released from jail and all charges against him were dropped by the Commonwealth Attorney's Office. For the earlier part of the night, though, protests were peaceful, but things took a turn as night fell and tear gas and gunshots filled the air. Now that massive crowd as you saw there, is, they quickly dispersed when those shots rang out. We are learning this morning that at least seven people were shot and at least one person is in critical condition at this hour. Now there were some arrests, but it's still unclear this morning exactly how many people were taken into custody. 